Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below as we are on episode 129, I believe. No, 130. We are on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's, uh. Oh, there she is. Hey, Dolly. She's out of her crib, so she's growing up. Alright, so we're gonna check the news here. There's nothing on the uh, calendar today, so it's gonna storm tomorrow. Neutral luck day. I don't need to check that one. Anyway, <clears throat> what are we going to do today? Um, one thing that I am thinking about doing, and I kind of regret where I put my um, <sighs> crops in the southwest corner, uh, or perhaps even the sheds in the, the northwest corner, I'm going to build a slime hutch, y'all. But the problem is it's 11 spaces wide, which is basically this gap right here. But if I put it right here, uh, I can just basically, I think, move this scarecrow up a little bit. I gotta get rid of my coffee plants. But it's not a big deal because there's only a couple of days left in the season. So I think we're gonna go for it. Uh, it's just something else to do here towards the end game. So that's on the agenda. So we got our tea leaves. Another thing that I want to do today. Uh, I don't know why I was going in there. Well, I do, but I already have the stuff that I was going in there for, which is the ore to do some smelting. So anyway, another thing that I would, uh, that I'm thinking about doing today is going to the desert and getting the Statue of Endless Fortune. So I can't remember what that little statue is called. That's the Statue of Perfection. <clears throat> There's a Statue of Endless Fortune that you can buy at the casino. Um, where do I need to go? Here. We got some jade, y'all. Boom, boom, boom. And then... Um, yeah. Now I think we are prepared to move along here. Yeah. We're going to come back and drop some stuff off, and then we'll go deal with our, our animals. But the Statue of Endless Fortune is cool for a couple of reasons. It produces stuff each day that's, you know, somewhat valuable. Um, like iridium bars, gold bars, diamonds, omni geodes, I think. Uh, but also, another cool thing that it does is every day, if it's somebody's birthday, it gives you a gift that they like. So, I won't have to worry about saving items for gifts for people's birthdays. I can just check my statue and I'm like, oh, it's somebody's birthday. Whose birthday is it? Just go give them that thing. So that's that. Anyway, those are the couple of things that I'm thinking about doing today. So the slime hutch, uh, and honestly, I don't even remember what it takes to build the slime hutch. So what we'll do is actually just go up to Robin's today, figure out what it takes, and then pre be prepared to upgrade it tomorrow. So that's the plan. I suppose I could just look it up. Why don't we do that? I'll look it up and then we'll head up there and have her start it today. Otherwise, it's just kind of a wasted trip, so bear with me here. Slime. Hutch. Uh, da, 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 da. Ten refined quartz, 500 stone, and one iridium bar. So... That's a lot of stuff, y'all. But whatever. Um, so that, anyway, that's the plan. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Basically, I'm, I'm trying to remember there was a scene there where it cut back to my desktop, and I think I had my work email open, so... 
we'll have to be sure to edit that out. And I'm making mental notes to do so. And it has me a little bit flustered. So. What else? <laughs> Technically, I'm, I'm tackling this episode on my lunch break. So I'm kind of in a work mind frame. Anyway, wait, did I start? Yeah, I started milk. Let's start some truffle oil here. There we go. Oh, hey there, little guy. I think we're due for a dinosaur here shortly. Although I kind of lost track, to be honest. Ooh. Couple more dino eggs. It'll get to where we'll start having a bunch of dino eggs once we've got them all. Well, not a bunch, but like every day we'll be getting one or two. So. Alright, we've got hops, we got peppers, we got sunflowers. I'm going to leave the sunflowers there. No, don't eat the hops. Because. Oh, see? Like, that is annoying. Not that it's a big deal. I don't know what. It must have been struck by lightning or something. Same here. It's okay, though. So, like I said, we're going to leave the uh, the sunflowers. And we'll, we'll get them the last day of the season. I guess. Just to try and minimize how much work we need to do on the first day of fall. Alright, so let's go empty our stuff here. We've got hops that can go in there. We got a row that can go. And then we've got truffles that can go. Everything else we gonna sell. Now, <clears throat> we don't have enough stone. What did I say? Crap, I don't want to do it again because it'll back me up. Oh, 10 iridium. Er, rib, oh, cripes. Alright, I guess we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, so you go back in there. I need to remember to, to do fire quartz. I'll start it tonight. And that'll give me a bunch of refined quartz tomorrow. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll just go up to the desert. Boom. I probably should have kept that chocolate cake, but it's okay. Now, we're going to head to the desert. Ooh, do I even have enough for the Statue of Endless Fortune? I think it's a million bucks. I don't even have enough. I'm an idiot. Well, I guess we won't be... Uh... Let's go to the desert anyway. I don't know why I was thinking I had more money than this. What did I spend all the money on lately? It's been a, a week or so since I've played because we had a... We got we had work stuff going on <clears throat> that had me occupied all day. And wore me out to the point where like I didn't want to spend any of my free time doing this. So, we're back. And what you got for me, bud? Probably nothing. Yeah, there's really... That guy is not that much use to me anymore, except for jades. Until I get to where I have a gazillion omni-geodes. So. I'm actually going to go into the casino just to confirm how much this thing costs. I'm pretty sure it's a million bucks. And it's... Hello. Oh. Yep, I already know that. <clears throat> so, we're going to come up here to the casino. And then this dude right here supposedly sells it. Yep, one million bucks. So, maybe we can afford that tomorrow. However, I need to make sure that I have enough cash for my crops to start the fall. So, we're going to have to probably put that one on the back burner. 
What really sucks is that the two things that I had written down in terms of plans today, I can't do because I can't afford the statue and I don't have quartz to buy the uh, slime hutch. So that was kind of a bust. I didn't have any backup plans. We'll go root around in Caroline's bush. Uh, this is going to be a short episode. I can say that now with a lot of confidence because I don't have anything else to do. Oh man, I was just coming around to root in your bush. Oh, I found a way to check how many um, Help Wanted ads that I've done. And I have 29. That's about to be 30. I can't believe I don't have more than that. But anyway, I found a way to check it out and it was 29. So we still have a little ways to go on that, but that's okay. We'll keep tick, you know, um, chipping away at it and we will get there eventually. So, uh, let's do this. I probably shouldn't have done that because now I don't have my horse. I was coming back here to get the pepper to give to Shane. It's all right though. All right, you go in there. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, clay, go in there. <clears throat> if the I would, it'd be cool if the return scepter, if you hit it again, it would take you back to where you were last time. Whatevs. All right, where is Shane going to be at two thirty on a Thursday? Um. I know he'll end up at the bar. I don't know if he's there yet, though. So let's go grab Sea Biscuit. We'll head to the saloon. If he's not there, we'll head down to the ranch. See if he's home. I don't think he's going to be here yet. Nope. Gus in there all by his lonesome. There he is. Right on cue. Skadoosh. So that's 30. Um, now we're going to head home. And what are we, uh, what are we going to do with the rest of our day here? I'm going to grab, uh, let's do that. And then... that and that and let's go so it'll be nine fire quartz and then eight gold bars that we're going to smelt all right i wasn't sure if it would be done yet but it is so that's cool and now uh, boom all righty So, in the morning, I'll need to take the, uh, what's it called? One of those, I'll, well, deal with it in the morning. <clears throat> right? Right. I'm not real crazy about where the slime hutch is going to go, but it's okay. In fact, while we're at it, let's... Go ahead and pick this guy up. And I'm pretty sure it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's probably gonna need to go like right there. So anyway, you can come with me. You were useless anyway. <clears throat> Alrighty. Ooh, our wine's coming in today. Not that that is all that exciting, but it's coming. So, so that's another thing we'll have to do tomorrow, is uh, deal with that stuff. Yeah, so we're actually pretty deep into the episode time-wise. So let's head to bed. And then, like I said, this will be... Um, see, we're still not to a million. So we need another big payday 
Um, but anyway, we'll figure it out. As soon as we buy our crops for fall, the next thing we purchase is gonna be... There's Dolly. Where's Carl? There he is. Oh. That's good douche. I didn't hit the, uh, the beatbox or anything before going to bed. Alright, let's see if we're up a level. Yep, we're up to silver quality ancient fruit wine down there. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Big, 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 big payday here. Because we're going to have... I don't think it matters if the soil is tilled, as long as there's nothing on it. But anyway. Alright, so let's come in here. Oh, goodness gracious. It's going to be a busy day. Alright, so... Let's grab you guys. And... Nope. Which one did I miss? Right there. Um, and then you and you go back in there. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. You go in there. Nope. You go in there. Nope. I did have the right one. <sighs> now, I'm going to go grab the, um, what's it called? I'm going to grab the ancient fruit and then head in there to put it into the kegs. Y'all, I don't know what is wrong with me at the moment, but I'm just like scramble-brained. Like I can't talk and do this at the same time, so apologies for the lack of commentary. But anyway, so today is going to be Ancient Fruit Wine Day, so we'll deal with this stuff. Uh, then we will have a trip to Robbins to, uh, to accomplish. All right, I'm not dealing with the other fruit. I don't care. i got enough to do today that it's just not worth it for me. So, here we go. No, why does it do that? did I say I was going to do today? So we're going to go to Robbins. If I was really smart, I would just take a bunch of stuff to Pierre's and sell it to make sure I get, you know, plenty of cash for, uh, for fall crops. And then I could buy the endless, the, you know, the statue of endless fortune today, but it's not a big deal. It's just something else to have. You know, it's not critical. one of those big dollar items late in the game that's just kind of fun to have, but by no means is it necessary. Alright, come on. Leave me with four. Oh no, missed one. There it is, right there. That wasn't bad. <clears throat> and you go back in there. Uh, we have another batch of ancient fruit wine for when we need it. But won't be that won't be for a while. All right, so let's grab that and seventy gold and seventeen coal, and we will go do this. St Actually, let's come in here and do this. I want to make sure I have enough room for. Uh, I should have taken that to uh, Pierre's. Let's do that. Because if I take it and sell it to him, it'll give me enough cash to where I feel okay going and buying the statue uh, and still having enough left over for my fall crops. So 
but that's the plan. Honestly, I don't even remember how much the slime wedge costs. Freaking diamonds. I don't want to deal with you right now. I don't want to do it because I'm going to change those that second row to jade. We're going to have a freaking jade empire. Um, so, that's the plan. So, I'm not going to deal with it right now. Depending on how much time the rest of this day takes in real time, we might go deal with that stuff. But, it's not a huge deal. I kind of um, dig just letting the cows and every all you know all the livestock and whatever just keep them the the doors open so that they can move themselves in and out as they please. It's just way less hassle than having to remember to close the freaking barn door every single night. Especially on nights where it's going to rain. Like, there's no benefit to having them locked into the barn or the coop when it's a sunny day. Like, it's okay for them to go out. I don't need to do anything with them, and they go into an area that's pretty confined anyway, so it's all good. Alright, we're going to try and get 17 and leave the rest. So that tomorrow they're already there for me. That's the plan. Man, I missed a bunch there. Do I only have 16 of those? Whoops. I don't know why I was thinking I had 17, but it's okay. Alright, piggers. Have a good day. Moving on to dinosaurs. You come with me. Probably my last blueberry. Yeah, this is my last blueberry harvest. Ooh, we got another dino. Lello. That's how my four-year-old used to say yellow. She couldn't pronounce her uh, Y's. So, anyway. We actually encouraged it for a while. <laughs> Alright, so we got another dinosaur. How many is that? Two, four, six, eight. So four more to go. Yeah, this payday is going to be big enough to where, like, fall crops, not a problem at this stage. So, let's grab this guy down here. Missed him. Oh my gosh, grab those. Get out of the way, sea biscuit. Oh my gosh. See, I struggle with the tall crops because you got to point to the bottom of the crop, not the top of it. And I just, you know, I'm clicking on the blue part. you got to click, like, below the blue part, if that makes sense. Alright, while I'm doing this, why don't we... Do I have a fun fact? Uh, I do. Since 1955, 50% of the population of Niger is under, consistently under the age of 16. 50% of the population of the country under 16. That's crazy town. <clears throat> and kind of sad, actually. Because that's telling you that they're either dying or they're leaving. Either, with, either of which is kind of depressing. So. When you see those Sarah McLaughlin commercials on television with, you know, the sad music and whatnot those kind of living conditions lead to statistics like that one, I would imagine. 
So that was uh, a downer. And for an upper, let's think about uh, how awesome it's going to be when I sell all this stuff. Collect a huge payday. That's what I'm talking about. It's 3 o'clock already. Ooh, ooh, speaking of which. Come on, Sea Biscuit. We got it. Oh, Robin closes at 4. Crap. I need that. And then I'll need stone. I'm going to just take this and go. Because, oh, come on, come on, come on. I think she closes at 4 on Fridays. So we are cutting it extremely close, yeah. I can't believe it's already this time of day, but it just takes a while to collect all those crops, y'all. I need to get the, um... <sighs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I needed to save a bunch more star fruit for, um... Junimo huts, and I did not do it. All right, so I think I have everything for this. Let's build, and it should fit. Yeah, I was going to say, it should barely fit right here. I know it's not ideal aesthetically, but, in fact, I'm going to put it right against the water because it's going to stick up and kind of block the gate there. So we're gonna... Why can't I build there? Oh, I guess it can't be next to the water. <clears throat> That's okay, though. She's going to start working on it first thing in the morning. <clears throat> so we're going to have a slime hutch. The slime hutch is, is really going to be kind of easy to manage with the slime charmer ring. And I've never had one. So it'll just be something different. When the 1.5 comes out and I do another map... I, you know, I'll do, uh, or another playthrough, I will do one that has the slime hutch in mind from the beginning, so that, it, that I don't put it in such a crappy spot. So. But I won't do it until I have the slime charmer ring. That is for certain. I kind of really am not looking forward to starting all over again. Especially as much time as I have been putting in lately. So, now that I'm wrapping my mind around that, that uh, the prospects of having to start all over, <clears throat> I think I might wrap this playthrough pretty soon. And then take a few weeks off, maybe? I don't know, though. You do that, and the next thing you know, it's like, yeah, I just don't feel like playing. And I haven't lost that love and feeling yet. And when 1.5 comes out, I would hope that there's cool enough content that it gets me back into it regardless. Ah, guys, I just don't know. We'll keep at it. I'm just thinking out loud. So... Sometimes you think things, and then it's like, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. But whatever. Bottom line is, I did not get up to the desert today to get the Statue of Endless Fortune. Um, so, maybe next episode we do that. Because I'll know exactly how much cash flow I have. But it should be plenty to afford that and my fall crop. So I'm not super worried about that. This should be a pretty big payday today because of the ancient fruit wine. <clears throat> and all of the blueberries. So. It'll probably be, I don't know, 400 grand. Somewhere in that neighborhood. so tired of collecting blueberries. And this is what made me think about the Junimo huts, but I don't know. I know they take star fruit as one of the items to buy them. And I don't think I saved that many. Somebody's calling me, but it's 
looks like spam. So we're going to let that one roll to voicemail. And it only rang three times. So that's a pretty good indicator that it was a bot. So, alright, let's go in here. <clears throat> I don't need to save any uh, blueberries. I got a thousand of them already. So we're good there. Uh, anything I need to put in here? Nope. You go in there. Uh, bam. 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 Is that it? That's it. You go in there. And now you guys... Go in there. How did I get two squid inks? Interesting. Why didn't it put the hops in here? It's weird. I swear I hit the button to move it all up there. Oh, I might not have because of the blueberries. I didn't want to move the blueberries. Alrighty. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to sell a ton of blueberries today. And that wine. So it's going to be a good payday. This was a pretty long episode, considering it was just two days, and I didn't even do half the stuff that I planned on doing. But, we got some stuff accomplished. Slime Hutch is underway. <coughs> Excuse me. But, if you have not done so, did I go to root around in Caroline's bush today? Ah, eh, whatever. Forget it. <coughs> I don't care. Uh, if you have not done so... Oh, we didn't go to the traveling cart... Whatever. I don't care. If you haven't done so, please be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below. And we will see y'all next time.